Good morning. We're from Abington Heights High School and we're here to present our Maglev uh, magnetic vehicle. Uh, first, we read through the packet and stated our problem to develop a vehicle that will travel across a track using electric energy and magnets to uh, keep itself above the track. We also took a look at the constraints after reading through the packet and uh, made adjustments uh, in order to ensure that our project met all of the design constraints. We brainstormed our ideas um, and wrote them all down and then made a decision matrix in order to uh, discuss which one we should use and which one would be the most practical. Our initial ideas, we started out thinking that maybe the styrofoam would be light enough and would float better, or either the masonite so to like keep it down so it wasn't flying all over the place. Um, we had three ideas. Like some of them used the popsicle sticks and the magnets for stability on the, with the magnets, and then um, from then we just use our decision matrix. And um, we use a scale of one to five, one being the worst and five being the best for each category to decide which one to use. We eventually um, ended up using a gearbox and styrofoam combination. This is our final sketch. And then after that, we started with our actual design process and like building the actual prototype. Next was our testing. Uh, we first figured out how many magnets we would need, and we uh, went with eight, because it would have most, uh, so, so it could float the best. After that, we uh, started to uh, refine it, and we added some hot glue and um, other weight, like the metal parts we had, uh, to add weight so to counterbalance our uh, motor in the back. Our uh, initial results were a little mixed. Uh, I didn't want to go at first until we figured out it needed a counterweight. Um, we did meet all the constraints. Nothing touches uh, the horizontal part of the surface. It's powered by a DC motor. Um, the, the functioning, the final product, as you'll see, is uh, it, it went pretty well. There were a few challenges that we came across that we could have uh, uh, fixed next time. Go back real quick. Um, a couple things here. The motor in the back here is very, it's, it's very back heavy. We probably, next time we were to do this over again, we would move the magnets back to keep the back end a little uh, afloat more, or uh, we would put the second motor in the front to counteract as well, whichever uh, would work best. And uh, now I think we're going to present our idea.
can see, uh, the balance needs to be a little bit better on it, which um, what we would obviously fix next time with the magnets in the back and a little uh, more accurate counterweight. Um, but other than that, the product did run fairly well. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you.